Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 30th, through this coming Sunday, July 6, 2014. So it's a new week, and yay, Mercury is going direct tomorrow. So all of the mishaps and the craziness of these past few weeks will now straighten out. And hopefully <laughs> it was all minor for you. And a sense of humor, we kept pulling that sense of humor card, um, helped you get through. I know my computer crashed and my printer just completely stopped working. And there was one day where I was trying to print all these documents for this event I had to do. And I went to all this trouble to get them printed and I got to my event and they had been left behind on the counter at home. There was no logical explanation for any of this. I must not have needed them. But that's Mercury retrograde. So, tomorrow, things will start straightening out again and we can relax and um, <laughs> go back to a bit of normalcy. So, also, this week, we're still pulling on that new moon energy and we're moving forward. Uh, if you find yourself a little more emotional than usual, it's okay. It's going to pass. It's because of all this cancer energy. The sun is in cancer. The new moon was in cancer. The moon now is phased out of that, of course. But um, try and use it constructively. Use this time. This is about your home and your family. It's about nurturing your life, creating the quality in your everyday existence that just elates you, rises you up. You know, it's padding your nest. Make your home and your family safe and cozy. And if you have a creative project that you've been wanting to get to, Now's a good time to work on it. You don't have to complete it, but, you know, start working on it. You're going to derive great satisfaction from that. Uh, last week's video, I talked all about this new moon energy, and it's with us until Saturday, July 12th, when we have the full moon. So if you get a chance, you can look at last week's video and get a lot more details. It's about a new home, a new job, nurturing yourself allowing these good things in your life. So on that note, again this week, I am using Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot cards. Love this deck. Great depth. Um, so only one card this week. I pulled the cards. Three cards each for three rows. The first row is money. The second row is your success. And the third row is your well-being for the week. So let's look and see what we've got here. We pulled this last week. The world. We pulled this last week too. Huh. The dreamer and four of fire. That's the money row. For success, we have renewal. A lot of major arcana again. Knight of air. We pulled that last week as well. And the Hermit, again. So this is continuing and bringing this energy along. We'll look at these and talk about each one. Four of Air, Balance. This is your well-being row. And Page of Earth. So very interesting. So starting with money, we have the world. And I believe last week this was in the success row. The world, it's Archangel Michael. It's a job well done. It's joy, contentment, and gratitude, and the path toward enlightenment. Um, this is coming up in the money row this week because you've done the work. And it's a card of successful completion. So you are bringing money into your life, and your finances are getting better. And you need to congratulate the, yourself for this success. Um, savor it. And it's also that you're ready to move on to something new. 
and you evolve to a new level. It's also a new job, it's a new house, um, and it's cosmic awareness. So cosmic awareness of money, that money is energy, like water and air and sunlight. Money's all in there with that cosmic energy. So allow that to let things ease around you. Let you know that you've done the work. Now you get to reap the benefits. And the dreamer again, he was in the money row last week. I think he was here. This is a new phase. It's a new beginning. It's a leap of faith. It's about following your dreams and watching around you for those unexpected opportunities. It's about believing in yourself and knowing that you are surrounded by protection and support. See all around him. And I always say he has that look on his face that he knows he's going to take the leap. And he's going to be okay. It's going to be great. So follow your dreams. And be open and aware and, and ready for unexpected opportunities. And this is also about creativity. There is more than one way to do anything. If Say you want a new house and you don't believe you can afford it. It's not that traditional, third-dimensional density approach. There are so many options and so many creative ways to bring exactly what you want into your reality. So focus on your dreams. Focus on thinking about those and just imagining how it would feel, that emotional feeling when they're in your reality. So also for money this week, we have the Four of Fire. This is a perfect money card. <laughs> it's contentment, peace, and abundance. It's money success. It's happy home life, a successful completion of a project. It's about deep satisfaction, um, peace and harmony in your home. And that's the energy around us with the sun in Cancer and that new moon in Cancer. You're making your list from last week of exactly how you want your home to be, however you define that, and honing in on your quality of life. And this is the money row, but those are the things that money can't buy. That's the stop and smell the roses things. This card is about navigating successfully obstacles. See, he's whizzing in around these obstacles to me. It's success in your career. So maybe it's a promotion or a new position or a new job. It's moving ahead in completion. And if you're in a relationship, it's also about taking it to the next level. So maybe marriage, um, planning a honeymoon, planning a second honeymoon. This is very, very good relationship and career and home card. I love it for the money row. So the next row is your success. And the first card we have is renewal. Review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts and time to move in a new direction. So this card very much goes with that dreamer card that's in the row above it. And renewal for me means that you've, like, you've come to the end of a, of a road and you're at a crossroads and you've got to make a choice. And um, it, it's, it's, you, you finish something. It's completion. And it's something important. And you're standing at the end of that road and you're looking at the choices ahead of you. You know, you've got a crossroad. Um, we'll talk more about the card in a minute. But um, it's about reviewing and evaluating to make your decisions. It's about allowing good judgment because you've done the preparation. You've completed that journey so that you've gotten to this crossroads. And um, it's allowing all these emotions to settle. See how they're settling out? And allowing this to me is like judgment and focusing on the, what it is you really want to create. And here we've got a family. 
We've got a family. So it goes back to the home. Um, this is also about you're going to get the job. If you've been involved in a legal situation or issue, it's going to go in your favor. If you've been studying for an exam, you're going to do really well on it. It's about also the success. Um, it's about new beginnings and also looking at different ways of doing things. You're standing, they're choosing the crossroads and you're evaluating what all your options are. So it goes back to the dreamer card of, of look around and look for creative solutions and different ways to do things and um, move move you're moving you're moving in a new direction and <laughs> it goes perfectly with the knight of air because he is about rapid movement so it kicks it up a notch it's activity it's things moving along rapidly and it's allowing your intellect and creativity to bring you success this says events that occur with great speed Take time to carefully review your options. That's what you were doing in the renewal card. You're standing there. You've traveled the path. Which crossroads are you going to pick? Um, it's also about looking for positive alternatives that you didn't anticipate. It goes with the dreamer above it just perfectly. It's creative solutions. Um, it's also about someone who's intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. That knight in shining armor on the white unicorn who's going to come and help you. And it's also about getting in touch with these qualities within yourself. You also are intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. So allow yourself to tune in to those qualities to make your decision. And we pulled the Hermit last week as well. I'm trying to remember what row he was on. I think it was success. Yeah, I think it was success as well. He is about quiet meditation. He's about going within and listening to your inner voice and receiving guidance. Self-discovery, spiritual teacher, spiritual teaching yourself and, and also finding your spiritual teacher. Um, you really, really must make quiet time for yourself. You need the balance. Um, this is success moving fast. This is making, needing to make decisions. But it's also about allowing that balance of giving yourself much needed time for self-discovery. Trusting your own intuition for good advice using your judgment and carefully evaluating your plans. Um, giving yourself time for meditation creates space. And then when you get in a st stressful situation, that space opens up and allows you to make a better decision. So that was your success row. And now we're going to talk about your well-being. And... I can already tell you that the four of air is pulling straight off that hermit. So your success and your well-being are going hand in hand. The four of air is about resting. It says time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So looking at the card right above it, renewal, Things are moving fast, but in a positive way. And this is about knowing you've done the work, you've taken the journey, you're at the crossroads, and you're going to make a good decision. But you need to allow yourself that balance of meditation and going within. Um, it's retreat. This is recalibration. This is renew rejuvenation. It's about relaxing and taking a break from stress. It's about allowing healing in your life. It's about getting more sleep. So to me, that goes back to home. The quality of the patting your nest and your home life. Um, this is the end. This marks an end of a stressful time. And there's no more like mental 
No more exhaustion. See, they're, they're all resting. He's sleeping. Their eyes are closed. Give yourself a break. Um, add to your meditation by some really good quality sleeping time. Take a nap. Go to bed early. Sleep in. Just for this week, for your well-being. <laughs> I think I've been talking about balance. I keep mentioning it. And here we have the balance card in the well-being row. I love it. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. This, you know, the beginning of this, your money, your success is about you've done the work, you're successful, you're there making those decisions. And this is about this cancer balance of make time for yourself. Cocoon a little bit. Balance is no impulsive decisions. Go ahead and meditate on things. Um, but I think you already know what the decisions are. I think when we talk about the first cards in this, that, that you've made those big decisions, those financial decisions, those career decisions, those home decisions, and you can balance that with a bit of rest now. If you're considering any drastic changes, go within and seek guidance. Before you, you know, take that leap of faith, but a drastic change is different from a leap of faith. So seek your guidance and work with others. This is about cooperation and compromise. So that's working with others and seeing all points of view and being open to different points of view, different ways of looking at things, which will give you a different perspective and more options on how you want to get things done. And it's also about compassion, compromise, forgiveness with other people. It's about healing. And this all will balance your well-being and timing. The night of air above it, you says your, your, your career and your home, that's going to go quickly. So that's perfect timing for you. Nothing is is random everything happens at the perfect time you never miss an opportunity oh, i love the always the bottom right card the page of earth this is good news this is good financial news the bottom right hand card to me applies to the whole spread every week pretty much i have found that this is very very true so you're going to love this card. This is good financial news. It's also about wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. This is about plans moving forward successfully. This is about allowing new interests. That's expansion in your life. It's not about, we didn't come here to do the same thing all the whole life. We didn't have the same job and the same house. Expansion is change and change is okay. Um, it's a young person. The page signifies a young person who is optimistic, yet they're realistic. They are scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. And Someone is going to come in this week with these qualities to help you. But this is also about you tuning into these qualities for yourself. You are also scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. Use your wisdom for your money, your success, and your well-being. And if you're thinking about going back to school or learning something new, then this card tells you that now is the right time. So, interesting balance of energy this week. And a lot of it's going back to that dreamer card. Take that leap of faith. Have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.